So with treatment, it's very much a matter of mobilising her out of the scoliosis. So L3 is about the apex of the scoliosis concave left. Pressure from right to left is blocked at L3, but also at L4. Does not want to go from left to from right to left. Much happier to go from the other direction, left to right. Feel how that's empty there? Mm -hmm. Different feeling. You don't need to go that way. So one mobilises only really from the right here. What's also very important as part of the treatment is to mobilise the facet joint between L3 and L4 because that is what has given her her symptoms of the thigh to start with. Much more thickened and indurated under there, would you agree? Mm. Whereas on the left, nothing. Pretty empty. Goes right in. You can even see that again with my thumbs. Don't penetrate. Go right in. Look at the difference. And that's the thickened tissue around the facet joint on the right between L3-4, which is compromising that nerve. Or giving referred pain. There it is, right on the money there. It feels like a sort of hard, thickened knot about the size of a squash ball. Quite uncomfortable. Is that giving you any pain into the thigh or just local? No, nothing to the thigh, just in, in the back. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And then the other one is to mobilise down here where the transverse process is sacralised to the ilium. Again, compared to left to right, empty here, nothing, nothing, nothing. A little bit tender, is it not? It is, yes. Yeah. And that needs mobilising because this is her short side, so she's stepping down. Bear in mind that we take between eight and 10,000 steps a day. Every time she takes a step on the right leg, she's stepping down 11 millimetres. So that is jarring that joint. Remember that union between the transverse process and the ilium is like a false joint. We call it a pseudarthrosis. It's worked quite well for most of her life, but as she's got older, it's not working as well. So that pseudarthrosis there needs mobilising. But... When one gets the spine out of its scoliosis, here she won't load up this joint as much because the spine will be straighter. So one treats both ends of the problem. There's L4, L3. In fact, I'm going to change my mind. That's the facet joint between L2 and L3 rather than 3 and 4. There it is there. Feel that, Vivian? Mm. That should feel as if it's an agreeable discomfort. It does, yes, definitely. Yes. It's nice to have it done, mm -hmm. but it's almost mm -hmm. unbearable. That's the problem. And there we go. You can see the erythema there on the skin. The degree to which the skin flushes up red is some indication of the degree of inflammation underlying. And you can certainly see that redness there.